Hey everyone, this is Armin Darwin. And recently I read a book that really got me thinking. And I really wanted to share these ideas with as much people as I can. The book was To Have or To Be from Eric Fromm. Fascinating ideas and concepts in there. So first thing I took out of it was the present state of our system, our society. So let's dig right into it. We live in this story to be the lords of our own fate. Everyone can get most of the things they want. We got the technology, the production, the progress to satisfy all the needs we could even have. And the goal of life is happiness in the sense of a maximizing of lust and fun. Maybe. Egoism and greed in that sense are encouraged within the system. So this is expected to lead to harmony and peace is if everyone is just maximizing their lust. What we don't have though is a theory of true well-being. And people get more and more conscious about the maximizing of lust society not actually fulfilling our deeper emotional needs and longings. And there's uh, this huge contradiction uh, generally present in our society, where on the one hand, we have borderless pleasure, maximizing of lust, and on the other hand, we have the ideal of disciplined work. For example, after a long day of work, you are landing directly onto the couch in front of the TV, Netflix for the remainder of the evening. Most likely, you don't have much energy for your own projects or ambitions left. So on the one side of the spectrum are the routines, like these conveyor belt routines, these daily work routines, as well as these bureaucratic routines. On the other side of it are binge watching games and sex. And either extreme, like forcefully working or absolute idleness would make life unbearable. So really only the combination of them both makes life a worthwhile. So there has to be a balance in a way. Unfortunately, the classic chase for happiness does not lead to well-being. It is again only the maximizing of lust aspect without the long-term satisfaction. So nowadays in society, we would wish the priority question would be what is good for the people. Instead, it seems to be what is good for the growth of the system in one way or the other. And I found this very eye-opening myself, especially considering that this book was first published in 1979. And it seems to me not much has changed in the focus of society. And Eric Fromm describes society as habitual unhappy people. We feel lonely, dictated by our fears, depressed, destructive, dependent. The kind of people who are happy if they can kill the time which they always try to save. And that hit very close to home for me. I consider myself a very efficient person that always strives to get more efficient and effective in what I do. Uh, and I'm so focused on saving time that I forget to use the time for something inspiring and, you, and usually just fall into my passive habits like uh, binge watching YouTube, to name just, uh, just one of them. But uh, generally, the assumption that egoism in action leads to harmony, peace, and general well-being of the whole society is quite a societal delusion, so to say. Egoism is instead rather an aspect of human character, but just one of the aspects. And it basically says to own gives pleasure. And we even see this in our own language. When we talk about things, we usually clarify subconsciously it is ours, like my home, my friend, my book, etc. If to have is my goal, I am more, or in that sense, more valuable the more I have. And I'm therefore, I'm living in a constant fear of losing uh, what I have. I can never be truly happy with this egoistic mindset. It is easy to grow suspicious of other people with this mindset also. In a way, I envy those who have more, and I'm afraid of those who have less. And all these feelings I have to suppress to be the happy, laughing, honest, reasonable, nice human everyone portrays to be. 
And according to Eric Fromm, greed generally leads to class fights. And as long as everyone always wants more, classes will have to form. And usually greed and peace exclude each other. So is this egoism ingrained in the human nature? Societies without egoism and greed exist, but are treated condescendingly. They are called primitive, their members are naive. Egoism is actually not a natural drive. Though we see quite the opposite in many original societal structures, but we don't recognize or value it. So Fromm also claims we lost our connection to nature. Our relationship with nature got distorted in a way. Nowadays we control nature and are negligent about its destruction. We are drawn to and fascinated by high-tech devices, no matter the environmental costs or the social or the psychological costs. We have a trend towards lifelessness over preserving nature that becomes more and more destructive. So Eric Fromm's perspective is, we are heading towards a catastrophe. The survival of humanity depends on our radical changes of the human character or soul. Well, so this is the outlook, his preamble, with which he gets into his topic to have or to be. There are much more deeper nuances to the way of living by having or by being. And I'll get into that in the next videos. So if you enjoyed this or like the thought process, uh, I hope to see you soon.